Marilyn Gladstone. I am the founder of the Women's Fund. I was always involved in women's issues, and I put together a board. In 92, Hurricane Andrew hit. The needs of the community were so incredible because of the hurricane that one of our board members, Evelyn Cohen, gave us $5,000 to begin funding. We interviewed women's organizations and we granted $1,000 to five organizations. And that was the start. The thrust of our mission is to work to give all women and girls equal opportunity and access. The four impact areas for the Women's Fund is leadership, access to health care, economic security, and freedom from violence. There are too many women and girls who don't have any or all of them. The mission of the Women's Fund, it is basically the same as it's always been to empower women and girls. Statistics show that when you invest in the lives of women and girls, you really uplift an entire community. Girl Power is a, a social change program. We work with girls to help them improve their self-esteem, to help them stay on the right track. The Women's Fund is one of the major funders of our girls' choir, and they do these wonderful musical productions. They get to perform on a stage in front of lots of people where if they were not involved in this choir, they would never have that opportunity. If I'm in the stage or something, I get scared sometimes. So I have to just, just um, stick with it and take away all the nerves and then keep, just go through with it. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher, a doctor, maybe a model or a veterinarian. Or <laughs> Urgent Inc. is a youth and community development organization dedicated to empowering young minds to transform their communities. Fifteen years ago, the Women's Fund provided our first seed grant to start our first program in 1999, our Rites of Passage Youth Development Academy. So not only we've expanded since that seed money of offering the Young Ladies Program, and now we've added an advocacy campaign focus for our campaign for girls' well-being, promoting awareness on teen dating violence. Rites of Passage for Girls is basically a after-school program that Urgent Inc. holds for girls, teenage girls in um, high school. We get into more detail about making choices in our lives, um, correcting habits. I think what's unique about the work that we do, it's caring about the young people. It's listening to them on what their needs. We believe um, the youth truly are the drivers for change. Pride Life's mission is to, to educate and empower South Florida's LGBT youth in a safe and diverse um, atmosphere. Um, the Women's Fund, they fund our women's program, which we have uh, Tuesday nights are our, girl, our girls' nights, and we have uh, Women on the Rise, which is we partner with the Museum of Contemporary Art, and they bring in artists, and we like try to express ourselves during, like, through art. The Art Bodies Ourselves is a safe program that we come and talk about sex-related topics or about health. I grew up in Detroit, so I needed a place like that. I moved into Miami, and I was, like, always the token, like, gay girl. So, like, for me, once I found a place that, like Pride Lines, it was, like, home. The Miami Dade Police Department, in conjunction with the Women's Fund, wanted to bring awareness to being preventative taking a preventative measure in helping these young women between the ages of 12 and 19 because the statistics are showing that that's the most prevalent time in a person's life when they're going to get involved maybe in a issue that they don't recognize as a domestic issue. The Women's Fund has been phenomenal in helping us carry on the message of education, of prevention. Without them, we could not have done any of this at all. The Women's Fund and Camilla's House relationship was built on a program that Camilla's House have called the Day Center. Where the Women's Fund come in is that they sponsor the women's shower with um, supplies because, you know, a lot of women, they need toothpaste, toothbrush, you know, personal hygiene. And the funds that we get from the Women's Fund help supply those basic needs. If a woman sees that they are, there are people in the community that does care. This gives them a, you know, a sense of hope. The Mustard Seed program, it gave me the opportunity to learn new skills where I can employ myself. 
there's a lot of people that need help and nobody wants to help us or give us the opportunity to start a new life. The Women's Fund helps us build up our self-esteem and helps us learn new skills so we can make money in a positive way. I was uh, incarcerated at BCI. I wanted more than what I was getting in prison. It prepared me to open up my own business, gave me an entrepreneurial class through Berry University. Right now I have a business that supports me because of the Women's Fund. It's definitely important to, to get in connection with the Women's Fund because it impacts the needs of all young ladies and all women because when you impact females, you're impacting the whole community for change. It helped me build the person that I am today because at first I wouldn't be sitting here in this chair talking to you. <laughs> Without them, I wouldn't have this confidence. I always say this, and I learned this from my grandmother, women are the first teachers of men and women. And we have to find ways to make sure that these girls understand that there are greater, better things waiting for them. If it wasn't for Pride Lines and the Women's Fund, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. That's my goal, to help these women get back on their feet and let them know they do have a chance. You know, there is hope, someone does care because I'm a recovering addict, so I know what it's like to be homeless. I've been there. You know, domestic violence is, is, is not going to go away, but we need to do everything we can for our young women between the ages of 12 and 19. Everybody need a second chance. There's no losers in nobody. Everybody can change. If I can change, anybody can change. I think my message would be that all dreams are valid. It's all about empowerment.